So when you're a seller and you're getting estate agents around for evaluation, how do you choose? What makes a good estate agent? Well, it's a common misperception that the best agent will get you the top price because at that stage of the game, you don't know who the best agent is and you don't know whether the price that they're claiming they're going to get you is a figment of their imagination or whether it's realistic. So how do you choose? Well, I always like to present comparable properties that have actually sold because asking prices mean nothing. You know, a property at 700 could sell at 650. So should you list yours at 700? Maybe, maybe not. Long answer short is it depends. So it comes back to the original question. How do you choose an estate agent? Well, I'm a firm believer that every property will find its price in the marketplace. So your property goes on the market, right move, Zoopla, on the market.com, whichever websites your agent chooses to use will attract the buyers and it will be punted around on their database to the existing buyers they've already got. Great, they're generating viewings. How do they get you the best price? Well, the price of a property is determined by a number of factors. Location, can't change that. Size, can't really change that in the scope of you know, this video, i.e. you're at the point of instructing someone, you're not exactly gonna do a loft conversion or a rear extension, are you? It is what it is. Um, but presentation, presentation is key. Now, I recently took on a property that had been with four agents, four, and none of them said what I said. Now, you're probably thinking, what did you say? Well, I walked into this house, which was you know, in excess of a million pounds, and I said, nah, this is crap. This isn't gonna sell. And the owner was flabbergasted. And he's like, well, what do you mean? Well, what do you mean it's rubbish? What do you mean it's not going to sell? So, well, look, you've been on the market with four agents. Four agents have told you what? That they'll sell it in a day, you know, that will get you X price. We've got buyers lined up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I heard all of that. Well, guess what? They do have buyers lined up. Of course they do. Every estate agent has buyers lined up. If you don't have buyers lined up, what kind of estate agent are you? Like, are you a plumber? Like, honestly, every estate agent has buyers. They're not literally lined up. But figuratively speaking, there's buyers on the books that would match that property in terms of area, size, price, all the rest of it, right? So you will get viewings straight away. Just, oh, come and see it, great. But what they didn't think to do is improve the presentation to such an extent that it will actually sell. Now, this particular client has disinstructed all the other agents and he's coming on board with me. We're not going to launch it straight to the market, no. We're gonna improve the presentation first to make sure that it is worthy of the asking price and hopefully even get slightly above the asking price. That is how you do it. The curb appeal is going to be improved by painting the front door. It's gonna have a tidy up of the rear garden, which was full of overblown leaves and a broken shed. It's going to be painted throughout. There's gonna be new carpets throughout. It's gonna be neutrally done so that a new buyer can come in plonk the furniture in and start living straight away. They don't have to think, well, we've got to buy it and then we need the builders in. Oh, it's long, it's tedious. Property's empty now. It's an ideal time to get a little bit of work done. Yes, it will cost a few thousand pounds. Yes, it will cost a few weeks. Yes, there is effort. But property hasn't sold yet, has it? What you've been doing so far has not worked. So we're going to try this. We're going to improve the presentation, improve the price, bring in new buyers at a new price, a new product, new presentation, mark my words, it's gonna sell. That is how you choose an estate agent. One that goes above and beyond just putting it on right move and hoping for the best. Now you've got to improve the product where possible to the extent that it's gonna sell at a price that you think, mm, this is worth it. This is definitely worth it because at the moment, we're getting no bites whatsoever, or well, I'm not getting any bites. The other agents haven't got any bites. Four of them <laughs> over the space of four months. Nothing, nada, zilch. So there's something wrong there. So I've got a property development background. I know that sex sells. Let's make it sexy. Let's lift up the skirt a little bit. Let's shave the legs, add some lipstick, make this property look absolutely amazing and mark my words, it will sell.